everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would film a bit of a get to know me video because I've been on YouTube for just over a year now. My April favourites video marked my one year anniversary on YouTube and while you guys know that I love beauty products, I love to play with them, I love to put them on my face, I love to photograph them, I love to talk about them and I love fashion, I show you that all the time on my channel and of course I love to travel there is so much more that you don't know about me so I thought I would take this opportunity to film the get to know me YouTube tag which I haven't actually found yet so bear with me two moments <laughs> okay I've got no idea if this is the official one I just went with the first one that came up on Google so let's get to know me <laughs> alright so the first thing is vital stats my name you guys actually may not know this, my full name- is my battery flashing? No. Okay, good. My full name is Josephine Harriet Mary Fear, and no, I don't really put that that many places, so maybe that was new information for you. That's my name. The next one is nicknames. Um, so when I was in school, I used to be called Jo, and I didn't really like being called Jo, I don't really know why, um, why I let that stick so much but there was another Josie in my class and she got the Josie nickname so I was Jo um, which led to me being called Joff because um, my initial being J-O-F which again I didn't really like so then it became Josie um, Jose is what most people shorten it to Charlie calls me J-Dog, J-Splash um, Mousy sometimes because I'm a little bit goofy um, yeah, I think that's about it really, not too many crazy adventurous nicknames. Birthday. My birthday is November 24th, 1991, and I did have to Google this, that means I'm 24 years old. <laughs> My place of birth. Now, I was born in Herefordshire Hospital, not Hertfordshire, so many people that live in London think Herefordshire and Hertfordshire are the same thing. Herefordshire is a county close to Wales, um, that's probably the best way of describing it, and that's where I was born. Star sign. You may have already figured this out if you know your star signs by my birthday, but my star sign is Sagittarius. Occupation. So my current occupation is I'm a full-time blogger and YouTuber, and I still have to pinch myself that that is the case because it's the coolest job in the whole world, I can't even lie to you. Um, but before that, so I'm not sure if this is going to go into university and stuff, let's have a look. Um, no. So I will tell you now. So I went to the London College of Fashion and I studied fashion management. If you guys are interested in this and um, kind of first stage of my career then let me know and I'll film an in-depth video on it. So I went to London College of Fashion, I got a first in my degree, um, I worked really hard for it so I was super duper pleased to get a first. When I finished uni, or actually a little bit while I was at uni, I worked at Mulberry, as in handbag company Mulberry. Um, I spent about a year interning there before going on to be a marketing assistant, and I absolutely loved that job. It was so incredible being right in the heart of the fashion industry. I worked on fashion shows, I worked on magazine advertising, there was just so much going on in that company, it was so glamorous and it's really incredible to work for a luxury fashion company, I really love my time there. Um, but then I had a job offer from a software company called Cortexica who have a visual search software and I spent nearly two years as their marketing manager. Um, so I was in charge of a website, social media, just anything that is outwardly projected about the company. And that was, again, really incredible, great to learn more about the digital space and we worked with some really great clients, so I worked with like Netta Porter, um, John Lewis, Debenhams, so that was a super job. And I did that job and ran my blog for nearly two years actually, the whole time I was there. And then my blog just started to take over my life, um, I didn't have any free time, I was waking up at 4 in the morning to do my blog work, and I was getting so many opportunities for the blog that I was having to turn down because of my day job, so I decided to hand in my notice, and now I'm a full-time blogger. Next up is appearance, and I'm pretty sure you guys all know what I look like, but just in case, uh, hair colour is blonde, although naturally it's dark brown. Whoa, that's a really bad lighting to show, it looks like my roots are really, really bad. Um, actually, my hair does desperately need colouring, but yeah, my natural hair colour is kind of like a mousy brown. Hair length is long, it's kind of just below the boob length. Eye colour is kind of greeny brown, um, noisette I used to call it, which is I think the French for hazel, that's, that's my eye colour. My best feature, um, I don't really know what my best feature is. A few people 
um, probably would say my hair, although I find it really, really hard to manage, so um, I don't know actually. My bum, I have a good bum. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that about myself? I don't know, but I, I think I've got a good bum. When I squat, I need to start squatting again. Braces. Um, okay, so it just says braces, it doesn't ask any questions around it. I'm not currently wearing braces, although I am getting clear braces very soon. I've been um, following the process with this company called Your Smile Direct, and they're gonna be fitting me with clear braces because I have really wonky lower teeth. Ah, yeah, they're really gross. And when I was younger, I did have a brace to push my bottom jaw forward because I used to suck my thumb, so my jaw was so goofy, and I still wear the retainer at night. Charlie and I have brace nights, so that's really, really fun. <laughs> Uh, piercings. So the only thing that I have pierced and have ever had pierced is my ears. Um, I don't even wear earrings that much. I've just been wearing these really lovely dainty ones from Jewelry Box. I think that's what it's called. Um, for the past few weeks and yeah, I'm not really a piercings kind of person. I've never really wanted to get anything else pierced. Yeah, so that's it. Tattoos. I don't have any tattoos when I was about 18. I did really want to get a little elephant tattoo, but now I'm really glad that I didn't because I just wouldn't, I just don't think it would suit me anymore. I think that's such a huge decision, such a big thing to get done, and it's just personally not something that I'm into, so no tattoos. And righty or lefty, I'm a righty. Although I have my cutlery the one way around, I put my knife in the right hand, which I think is opposite to most people. Okay, firsts. First best friend. So my first best friend was Meggie and we became friends in primary school and then Meggie left me and moved to Australia but actually she's getting married this summer and Charlie and I are going out to Australia in July to go to her wedding so Meggie was my first ever best friend um, and we still keep in touch even though she lives on the other side of the world. First award. Um, I guess it depends what kind of award. I guess when we were younger, or when I was younger, I got a headmistress's distinction, which was like the highest award you could win in my school for my autumn leaves poem, which I had to read out in front of the whole school when I was like seven years old. Um, what? Oh, I don't know. Awards. Um, I guess like sporting awards, although I was really rubbish at sports, so I probably didn't get any of those. I also got a headmistress's distinction for an art project when we visited the Pitt Rivers Museum when I was in, again, I think class six or something, so that was, um, that was good fun. But my first proper award would probably be the one that I got recently, the Johnson & Johnson Best Beauty Blogger Award. I don't think I've won a proper award like that ever before, so maybe that's my first award. So the next one is first sport. I don't really know what that means. Maybe skiing, that was the first sport that I was good at. So I'd started skiing when I was about six years old. Um, I wasn't very sporty when it comes to like tennis or rounders or that kind of thing, so I would have to say skiing. And first real holiday. Um, I don't really remember it, I probably just remember it from photos, but when I was about two or three we went to Hong Kong, Singapore and a little island off the coast of Singapore called Tiaman which is just the most beautiful little paradise island in the South China Sea but yeah I don't really remember it but I'm sure that was my first proper holiday. And first concert, so my first concert was Busted and McFly with the Warm Up Act so technically McFly were the first band that I ever saw live. Next up is favourites, so my favourite film, now this is between Titanic and Legally Blonde, I love both of those films, they're both completely different to each other, Legally Blonde because Elle Woods was always my icon, I wanted to be successful like her, although not in a law, um, law degree, but I wanted to just be as fabulous and successful as Elle Woods, and she was just... Yeah, she was my icon, so I loved Legally Blonde, found it so funny, I still love that movie, in fact I really want to rewatch it, it's been a couple of years since I last watched that. And then Titanic, oh my gosh, I was so obsessed with the Titanic, I wonder if I've got the book here, no I don't have it, but basically my um, prep school best friend Georgie and I, oh no, no it wasn't Georgie, it was Rianne, so a girl that I was best friends with in like year 7, year 8, we were both so obsessed with Titanic, we made a Titanic scrapbook, like a fact book, I could probably reel off so many Titanic facts for you right now, but I'm not going to do that, um, but yeah, I love that film, of course I fancy Leonardo DiCaprio, and I kind of love disaster films. I love end of the world things like 2012 or 2012, um, Olympus Has Fallen. I just love those kind of movies. <laughs> 
favourite TV show. Now I'm not really a TV show person, if that makes sense. I have like an OCD, I need to always be being be doing something productive, so I don't tend to watch TV that much. But having said that, I do like to have some background noise on. I love Modern Family, I love Parks and Recreation. At the moment I'm loving Scandal. Um, they're all American, obviously I do like American TV shows, but I used to love Britain's Next Top Model, America's Next Top Model, I used to love um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if you can remember that far back, but yeah, that's that's going way back. Favourite colour? Come on, pink, obviously. Favourite song? Hmm, I don't know, this always changes. I love Coldplay, was that going to be one of the questions? No, I'm not spoiling a future question. I love Coldplay, so basically anything by them, Adventure of a Lifetime, um, Him for the Weekend, is that what it's called? Him for the Weekend? The Beyonce one. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, that one, yeah, love that one. Um, and yeah, I'd say they're my favourite songs at the moment. Favourite songs of all time. I love Enya Caribbean Blue. Um, you probably don't know what that is, let me just play it for you quickly. So this song reminds me of holidays and this is the song also that I want to walk down the aisle to when I get married so let me just play it for you. Okay so the church doors open now and I start to walk down the aisle. <laughs> it's kind of operatic. I think my mum used to play this when I was younger and now I just love it. Okay, so yeah, that's probably my favourite song of all time. Um, next is favourite restaurant. I would have to say Hawksmoor, um, maybe. I love a good steak, so I love Hawksmoor. Uh, close to my house we have a Boqueria, which is a Spanish restaurant, so I love tapas, so that's another favourite. Um, I used to be obsessed with TGI Fridays, so I love that. There's not one that really sticks out, uh, but mostly meat oriented restaurants. Favourite store? I would have to say Selfridges because it has so many favourites under one roof. It's got like all the beauty brands, it's got Topshop, it's got Valentino, it just has everything that I love. So maybe that's a cheat answer, but I love Selfridges. Favourite book? Um, I don't really have a favourite book apart from Paco Underhill's Why We Buy, which I think I've mentioned before in a video is all about the psychology of how we shop and I am fascinated by everything that guy has to say. In fact, I really want to do a video on it because it's so interesting, all these things that we do without meaning to and all the tricks that the retailers play on us to make us buy more. So that book I found so interesting when I studied it at uni and I still refer back to it because it's just so fascinating. Favourite magazine? I, I don't really like magazines, I feel like they're a little bit um, old school. <laughs> um, but I do still have Grazia subscribed to me, I get it delivered um, every week. But to be honest, it goes unread in its plastic wrapper quite often. But I do like to read them when I'm on holiday, and I also always grab a Glamour and a Cosmo from the airport, so I'd say they're my favourite magazines. Favourite shoes, without a doubt, my Valentino Rock Studs. They were my first ever proper designer purchase. I got them for my graduation, and as you guys know, I wear them all the time for like any special occasion. The next section is called Currently. So currently feeling currently feeling a little bit um, stressed and rushed because I need to get to Charlie's parents' house for his sister's birthday meal in about, no watch on that hand, in about an hour's time, so a little, little bit rushed, a little bit anxious at the moment. Single or taken? Obviously taken. I've been with Charlie for four years, it was our four year anniversary yesterday. Um, I really want to do the boyfriend tag video, so next time we're on holiday together I think we're gonna film the boyfriend tag, so let me know if that's something you want to see. Currently eating. Um, okay, well technically I was drinking this smoothie, which Charlie made for me, I have no idea what's in it, it looks a little bit gross now, it's um, orange with, uh, I don't know, I think it's probably carrot juice with ice, so it's a carrot slash puppy, that sounds gross. <laughs> Currently listening to nothing because I'm filming a video, but before that we were listening to Caribbean Blue by Enya, um, but before that I was in the gym so I was listening to a little bit of Justin Bieber, a little bit of Beyonce, that kind of thing. Currently watching myself on a little screen, I don't know how else to answer that question. <laughs> currently wearing, I'm currently wearing a necklace from Accessorize, a top from, 
oh gosh, I cannot remember where this is from, Topshop, I think, I will leave a link down below, and jeans, woo! <laughs> Try not to fall over, jeans from American Eagle Outfitters. Okay, future, want children. Yes, I do, I want to have two or three children, ideally two girls and one boy, I definitely want to have a little girl, um, I know you can't choose as long as they're happy and healthy, um, but yeah, yes I do want children. Future, do you want to be married? Yes, I do want to be married, I don't want to be one of these people, not that there's anything wrong with it, that gets married as soon as they get engaged, I'd love to be engaged for a few years, and get married, and then have children, but nothing ever happens as we plan, so who knows? Future careers in mind. I would love to continue doing what I'm doing now for as long as possible. I don't know where the blogging industry is going, I don't think many people do, it's so hard to predict, but one thing I know for sure is I'd love to always be my own boss. I learned pretty quickly that I'm not the kind of person that likes to be chained to a desk doing a 9 to 6 office job, so whatever my future career is, I would like to be the boss. <laughs> future, where do you want to live? Um, I really like where we live now, we live in southwest London, I really like our house, um, but I think when the time comes that I do want to have some babies, or we want to have some babies, then I'd like to move out to Surrey where it's more room, you can get a little bit more for your money, although not that much more, um, but I think I will always stay in England and around London because I like it here. <laughs> do you believe in God? Um, Mm, this is really hard. I'm not a very religious person. I would never be like, I don't believe in God because I'm not an atheist or anything, but I definitely believe something is going on up there. I believe in karma. I went through a phase of believing in like Buddha. Well, Buddha was a person, but um, yeah, not really. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, I definitely believe in miracles. As I said, karma, I believe in like what goes around comes around, and I do definitely believe the miracles can happen, and I'm such a believer in when you say, like, it's meant to be. So many things in my life just seem to have happened because of an instant decision that I made, like meeting Charlie in the Maldives, which is just crazy, was as a result of an instant decision that we made, uh, my mum and I. So yeah, I definitely believe in miracles and believe that things happen for a reason. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, at the risk of sounding like the biggest Scrooge, I don't think I do, because I think you need to really get to know someone. I definitely believe in lust at first sight, like obviously as soon as I saw Charlie I was like, oh, he's handsome, but it took a while to fall in love because, yeah, I think to love someone you need to know that person, so, I mean, it's so hard to, <laughs> it's so hard to say this without sounding like such a, such a downer, but I don't believe in love at first sight, but I definitely believe in love. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I definitely do believe in ghosts. Um, I definitely believe that there's something else in this world that we live in. And my main reason for believing in ghosts is because I've heard really like goosebumply ghost stories from people that just wouldn't make it up. Like one of Charlie's mum and dad's friends who is a manager of a hotel called The Great Fosters. I'm not sure if I should be saying that it's haunted on my YouTube channel. Um, but he tells stories of ghosts in their bedrooms and he's not the kind of guy to make it up. So yeah, I do believe in ghosts and um, I've had a few spooky experiences myself which I won't go into because it's not that kind of video. But um, yes, I do. Aliens. Uh, again, there's this guy that my mum was friends with, like a farmer in Gloucester, and he had this weird experience that he swears, um, swore was aliens, and he's not the kind of guy to bullshit either, so maybe I do, but I've never had any intergalactic experiences. <laughs> do I believe in soulmates? Yes, 100% definitely. I don't believe that you're restricted to just one, um, but yeah, I definitely believe in soulmates. Do I believe in heaven and hell? Um... I don't know, I believe that you should be good in your life because like, it's not worth the risk, imagine if it was and then you'd just been naughty your whole life, but I don't really believe that like there's angels in the sky and there's devils down below, I'm not really sure. It's kind of the same as asking if you believe in God, isn't it? Do you believe in kissing on the first date? Um, yeah, I do. I think if the feeling is right and you are not being pushed into it as long as it's your decision then yeah there's nothing wrong with kissing on the first date <laughs> and finally do you believe in yourself yes i do believe in myself i think it's so important that you believe in what you're doing believe that you're doing the right thing whether that's your job your relationship status or your friendships i do think it's so important to believe in yourself i think that working for myself has really pushed that um and has done a lot for my self-confidence and independence, so yes, I 
do believe in myself. <laughs> and that is all the questions in the get to know me YouTube tag. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that surprised you, anything you didn't know about me or anything that um, you thought might be different. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you feel a little bit closer to me now. I know it's been a year and I probably should have done this a little bit sooner. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you are not subscribed to my channel then it would mean a lot to me if you did. Also, we are kind of, kind of getting close to 20,000 subscribers, which is mental. Um, and I'm starting to think about if I'll do like a certain video for my 20th, 20th? For my 20,000 subscribers. So if there's a particular video you'd like to see, then let me know. A few people have said a house tour or an evening routine, um, both of which I'd love to film. I think a house tour would be really fun. So let me know what you'd like to see if and when I reach 20k. Um, yeah, that's all from me. See you soon. Have a good day. Bye!